Are you building a digital prototype and need to use SysML to satisfy requirements? And do you also need to know how behavior models are going to affect your systems? You can't do this unless you can execute your SysML architectures in a physics-based simulation of your system's operating environment. Let's take a look at a truly connected simulation infrastructure. Typically, in the current process, we have our systems engineers and our modeling and simulation engineers working together, but in separate ecosystems. The SysML practitioners are on this side of the program. They're working on decompositions, playing with requirements, and defining the system structure. They'll define the architecture, create the relations, define the behavior, and make sure all of that maps back to their requirements. The modeling and simulation engineers are on this side, taking the outputs of what the SysML gurus created. And they're attempting to decipher and manipulate that information and put it into the modeling tools of their choice. Whether it's a custom systems modeling tool, a custom black box written in a predecessor's favorite programming language, or a specialized physics tool. They will perform the analysis and validate that the particular part they are focused on meets expectations. As you can see, we have two rather disconnected aspects of the overall engineering effort. In reality, there might be substantial interaction that happens between players on both sides of this equation, but it's not automated, it's subject to dreaded fat finger errors that happen during translation, and it requires substantial manpower involvement. What you need in this blank space is a simulation infrastructure that executes directly from the SysML, that pulls in the expertise from our modeling and simulation engineers, and utilizes the analysis tools and capabilities that are best suited to represent the physics. This infrastructure needs a set of core models and stereotypes that allow you to describe all the elements from your system architecture that you want to have included in your behavior simulation. You're also going to need a development infrastructure that will allow you to delegate implementation from your SysML to your other tools. With the wide variety of tools and techniques available, you'll have to manage how you create, debug, and deploy these reusable delegate modules both within your SysML system architecture and across your enterprise. On top of the core models and delegate infrastructure, there needs to be an engine that is responsible for reading in the state machine diagrams, interacting with the analysis tools, and coordinating the temporal execution of the simulation. Once combined, these capabilities provide a robust suite that allows you to create tailored, reusable behavior simulations that execute directly from your SysML models. And that is exactly what ANSYS Behavior Execution Engine does. Behavior Execution Engine works in conjunction with Model Center for Connectivity, Systems Toolkit for Digital Mission Engineering, Java for Delegate Development, other ANSYS physics solvers, and a wide variety of other tools, all to round out this integrated simulation infrastructure. Fundamentally, this allows you to have your systems engineers design the system in SysML, your modeling and simulation engineers define the interactions with the analysis tools that are defined on the behavior diagrams so that anyone can execute these simulations. For iterative design across functional teams, test case analysis, or trade study execution. For more information, head over to ANSYS.com.